Uh, hey guys, Super Nintendo here with part three of my video. Uh, this time we're going into the closet or the archive, I should say. Um, basically, I'll go ahead and uh, show you how it's kind of stacked up here. I got my Vans box up here and uh, some Star Wars action figures, and in there are some video games and again some more video games here uh, basically all of this here is the majority of my video game collection archive so I'll go ahead and uh, jump cut to show you what's inside okay so um, I got all of it out of the archive here and um, you, know, you got my dog Bowser over here. He's part of my collection too. Um, so let's take a look here. Um, so first off, I got my um, Mario Kart shell. It's a backpack, but it's not really a backpack. It's essentially just a pillow that'll go on your back. So um, I got this because of a Halloween party one year and I decided to keep it really cool. Sometimes I put it on the dog, so it's pretty funny. But here, let's get to one of the boxes here. Um, they're in really no particular order. So we got just random games here. Um, I got a level 257 uh, playing card. Uh, if you've ever been to Schaumburg, uh, Namco has a Pac-Man themed, it's kind of an upscale uh, arcade bar, kind of like Dave & Buster's, only a little bit more expensive. Um, here I got Zombies Ate My Neighbor's Case uh, with the manual. And then I got these Mario Maker uh, pens. This one is just the, just the cardboard holder case, but these are the pens. Now, these are, uh, they were given out at E3, but they were also Best Buy uh, pre-order exclusives, but I didn't pick up the pre-order in time, so I missed out on the buttons, and I was kind of mad about that, but I ended up getting this off of eBay for like $18, so it wasn't too big of a deal. Well, let's see here, I got a Grim Fandango Prima Guide. Uh, this came in with one of the versions that I bought off of eBay. I was trying really hard to get the US version of the box game and I just couldn't find it. It was just so expensive so I ended up getting the European version instead. So in here we have some PlayStation games, uh, Red Dead Revolver, um, Orphan Science Sorcery. This one was my first PlayStation 2 game that I got. Um, it's one of... Um, a launch title I believe and although it didn't get too good reviews I still liked it uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, Rumble Roses uh, XX um, Big Bumpin of course Homefront uh, we got some Halo Silent Hill 3 um, it's Half-Life some of these don't have the things in the box but uh, here's some of my GameCube games much of the more uh, games that just doesn't fit on the shelf. Uh, I'm pretty particular about what type of games that I want to put out. So what I'll do is I'll select the ones that I want to show on display and then, then put the rest into uh, a box for storage until I can get a spot that has more space. Uh, especially if it's a greatest hits version. I hate these. Uh, it just totally throws off the flow of the way that they're situated here. So I try to avoid those at all costs. But if it's only a dollar, it's just a dollar. But um, I got Cave Story for the 3DS. It's loose, but couldn't pass it up for 20 bucks. All right, let's take a look at this box here. Um, this one is my Sega CDX. Uh, this, I don't know if you guys are aware, but it's a CD player that also is a Sega Genesis and the Sega CD all in one. Uh, so right now, as you can see, it's kind of taken apart because uh, when I bought it, it wasn't working. And uh, this was like 10 years ago where I tried to open it up and it didn't work. And 
then I find more and more people are repairing it. So I try to replace the CD uh, eye on it. That didn't work, so maybe it just needs recaps. So oh, we'll see eventually. I keep it around because it's such a cool item. And even broken, I'm pretty sure it could get a decent price, but I still don't want to get rid of it just because of the notoriety alone. All right, let's take a look here. Let's take a look at this box here. Um, Converse box, really good for handheld games, especially since uh, they're kind of small and everything like that. So I got this Zelda watch. Um, I used to have it as a kid and it got lost in a move or something like that. So of course I had to rebuy it. It's a Zelda game and it's just amazing. Like as a kid, I was obsessed with Zelda. So um, this is a pretty neat little piece to have, even though it doesn't quite fit my wrist anymore. Same thing with this. This is a Mario wallet. It's it's a hologram. It moves up. He's it's kind of Mario 2. So it's got like the one up and pow and everything. It's all Velcro, but it's got the little things inside of it. So let's see here. And of course, some Sega Game Gear games that I found at a pawn shop. Um, one of my, one of two uh, TurboGrafx-16s. This is, actually came with it. And of course, it's made by Atlas. It's Summer Assault. And this is actually a pretty pricey game. So I'm going to keep care of it here. Uh, some of my loose Genesis games like Sonic and Knuckles. Some more Game Gear games. And, so, and most of my Nintendo Game Boy games like um, Zelda, Oracle, Seasons and Ages, Mario Land 2, uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Just some good games here. Um, I try to keep them in the case if I can find them, Kirby's Dream Land. Uh, but sometimes if I have them loose here, I actually got this nice little ring box here that keeps them loose. Um, I got a couple, um, this, the Mr. Driller Spirits, for whatever reason, I can't find the case to it. Um, usually I have cases for these and some Game Boy Advance games. Um, some Japanese Game Boy games that I found at a thrift store um, that had a really heavy um, Asian population. So it wasn't, it was surprising to find Japanese stuff, but after I figured out where I was, it wasn't too surprising after that, but cool nonetheless. So just original Game Boy games, some of them which I've had in my collection since the Game Boy came out. Moving right along, this is just like a random box here, so I don't really have too much in here. Uh, these are kind of like some uh, random pickups like Pac-Man and Galaga Dimensions. Uh, Phantom Pain, which is sealed and on clearance. I picked that up for six bucks. Um, Bowling, I enjoy bowling games, um, and I'm a little disappointed that this one doesn't have Kinect support, but this one actually does. This one has pla um, PlayStation Move, so I'm really excited to play that one. Uh, I think we're going to do a video on how I enjoy motion controls, even though not too many people do. Um, this is just a Doctor Strange action figure and some phone boxes and everything like that, so nothing too exciting. Another random box here. Uh, I have uh, just a random NES game, a PSP that doesn't work. Uh, it's missing the battery pack, uh, so I'm gonna have to replace that. A uh, PC game, and then just some random uh, Cards Against Humanity cards that I have that I haven't really opened up. Uh, Star Wars trading card game cards still sealed. Just random stuff that's in here. Okay, so we got some game boxes here. Um, and inside, actually, they aren't game boxes, but um, I got some limited run games here. I got Octodad. Um, my other TurboGrafx-16 game, Bonks Adventure, complete in the box. Um, I actually got this sealed from Yahoo Auctions like a long time ago for like $10. It was crazy that thing. So I got my original Game Boy case, which has a Game Boy inside of it. I have a couple of 
Game Boy Advances. Uh, one of them is the original. This one I found at Goodwill for $1.99. Couldn't pass it up even though it's missing the battery case. I think I might mod this to make, because um, I have a couple of AGS 101 SPs that are broken that I want to use the screen for. Uh, how to win at Nintendo books. Uh, these are from my original uh, collection here. Um, they, of course, don't fit on the bookshelf, but you know, ultimate unauthorized Nintendo Super NES game strategies. Basically, just how to like either cheat codes or just random guides and stuff. Nothing too extreme. Uh, here's a couple of other limited run games. I got kind of suckered in with limited run. I I don't even own a PlayStation 4, and I got caught up in the rarity aspect of it. But since I um, know some of the people who do Octodad, I wanted to support them. Uh, and give him some of my money here. So, and then you got Mutant League Football for the Genesis, really good sports game. A couple of other uh, NES titles that just don't fit on the shelf. I got uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Uh, I think I bought this new from GameStop. I can't remember it, but if I try to now that I own and keep boxes and stuff like that, I, I want to keep them as. Thing. This one, of course, the infamous E.T. Uh, this is sealed. Uh, I picked this up for like $10 or something like that at a game store. And I, I just, I had to have it. Of course, like, it's it's one of the most iconic games that uh, you can have for the system, even though it's terrible. And then speaking of iconic games, I had Shaq Fu, which I got off of eBay for like $13. And it comes with the rap cd single so and this is sealed and everything like that too so i, I don't think i'm going to open it I, I think that's really cool to have um you know just a a game like that uh the we fit uh meter um i got that because it was a pretty cool thing and now i, I got like a fitbit uh game gear i found this one at a thrift store uh i think that uh, I made sure to keep the foresight of not having batteries inside because they do have the tendency to explode and leak all over the place. So I can get rid of that. And then I got this. This is a GP2X. And now what this is, is this is a, I believe it's a Linux based handheld game system. Uh, I got this solely because it was one of these like um, awesome emulator games. This is before the PSP, and so it had a full screen, but I couldn't for the life of me load any of the games on it. So I might try it again and maybe give a review on it at a later time. Uh, Fallout 4 Steelbooks, a couple of Steelbooks here. I got Witcher 3. Um, and then I got, again, like I'm pretty big onto uh, motion controls and everything like that and AR. I thought this was really cool and for the $30 that it cost me um, This is a wonder book. Um, I might actually do a review on this because it's pretty neat uh, because it's like a read-along book that the PlayStation like makes it look like it's um, a three-dimensional thing and then you can wave their wand and everything. It's pretty neat and Then I have and then last on the list here, Lethal Enforcers for the Genesis in the box. Um, that comes with the gun. And it's just pretty cool to have something like this because you know definitely that nowadays people wouldn't even be caught dead selling something that looks so realistic like this. Of course the gun is blue. All right, so moving on. Um, I keep some of my DVDs down in here too and I, again I live in a really small apartment so I don't have too much room so a couple of my original favorites like Cannibal the Musical if you really like South Park I suggest that you look this one up this is a uh, definitely way before South Park Troll 2 the best worst movie I got Double Dragon, complete in the box. The box is really beat up, but still, if I get a good price on it. So then I got 
two of the most notorious games here. Um, again, like I, I don't necessarily collect only awesome games, but I do keep an eye out, especially if they're not very expensive, for games that are notoriously bad. Um, this one, Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon, and Link, The Faces of Evil. These are Philips CDI games. Um, as you probably are aware, Nintendo kind of partnered up with Philips after the fallout with Sony to create a CD-based system. And these are two of the three Zelda games that were licensed out. There's another one that's called Zelda's Adventure, and that one is ridiculously expensive. And as much as I really would like to have those, $400 is not what I'm putting on my thing here. Um, so they do have the slip covers. Not too many of them do nowadays but it's missing the UPC code, which I guess I paid, I think 120 for both of them. So it wasn't really too big of a loss for me. So now these are a couple of empty boxes. Um, I got Halo 4, uh, this Resident Evil Special Edition, which came with uh, the, comes with like this laser cell, which is apparently individually numbered, so. Um, I haven't really played Resident Evil 4, and like I found this at a thrift store for a couple of dollars and really couldn't pass it up. The case looks cool. Uh, some Mega Man Anniversary Collection. This has um, 10 Mega Man games in one disc. Kill Zone. Heavenly Sword. Titanfall for the thing. And then you got Rocket League for the Xbox One. Uh, then you have GoldenEye, which has the special edition uh, gold controller. Um, I have a Majora's Mask, an extra Majora's Mask Skull Kid statue box. A Yoshi's Whirly World, which came with a Yoshi Amiibo. And then Super Smash Bros. Wii U for the uh, Wii U. Uh, it came with the controller and this adapter which became like stupid rare for the longest time and I try to get myself into Smash and I just realized that I'm not good maybe next time it'll teach me to keep out of uh, Smash in, in the meantime so there's a couple of um this is the CD to Curse of Monkey Island the box that I have is really beat up so it doesn't stay closed so I got the manual and everything like that in here for safekeeping uh, Lost Planet the Xbox 360. Of course, what would a Dreamcast be without a web browser? So I put that in there. Uh, my only Sega 32X game, Virtual Fighter. It's complete in the box. Um, I really want to get into collecting 32X. I need to get Knuckles Chaotix and stuff like that too. All right, so, and then of course, Zelda Skyward Sword came with the golden remote and the soundtrack and does anybody else listen to soundtracks i don't really anymore um leave a comment down below if you do uh, these are manuals and posters for the original nintendo so i got you know the control deck the zapper and a whole bunch of now you're playing with power magazines um oh here's the rob the robot manual i've been looking all over for this um so actually this is just for the deluxe system um, i was looking for the power glove one actually so this shows you how to set up the rob and like what's going on with it and troubleshooting just for the deluxe set because i do have the box i do like the tagline here uh so simple it's so simple, a robot could almost do it. And of course, it's got a picture of Rob, and Rob looks so cool. Let's put that over there. Um, I have a handful of Nintendo Power Guides, uh, strategy guides for Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask. Um, I got a Nintendo Power with Star Fox on it. I always put my initial on that, and now I wish that I hadn't. But oh well, you know, kids are going to be kids. I got some Game Genie code books. Uh, these you had to mail in to get extra codes for all of the games that came out. Uh, this is a Legend of Zelda promotional poster when 
uh, Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time had uh, just been announced. So it's like a, a neat little poster. Maybe I'll frame that eventually once I get space, but it's got creases in it and I don't know, it's just really neat to have now. Can't remember where this actually came from. Maybe it came from a Nintendo Power thing. Uh, a Sega CD game, Jurassic Park. And then this Mar Super Mario Brothers 2 Inside Out Guide. Uh, I got this uh, when I was working at the video game store. Like, they just put it down. You can get some free stuff. So it's like, oh, can I take that? And they're like, yeah, sure, knock yourself out. So let's see. I got these are where I keep my archived uh, Super Nintendo games. So I got Super Game Boy. Not really going to read off all the titles, but you can kind of see what I got in here. I got Limited Lethal Enforcers, which comes with the gun, a mouse with the uh, goofy trackball, uh, Killer Instinct, a couple of uh, different games here. This is Gamut, um, or Jamit actually, sorry. Uh, this one my cousin found underneath his house and it actually still works after a nice little cleaning here. You should probably check out my cleaning guide uh, if you want to learn how I got that game to slowly get back to a working condition here. I got Battletoads of Noble Dragon, Donkey Kong, Sin City. So all of these games, uh, again, like I just don't have any room to put them out. So I keep them nice and safe here so that way um you know in just in case like i want to swap some stuff out it'll be something that i can have there all right now these columbia shoe boxes they're really good for um just storing games and keeping thing here so i got again some more of um uh some game titles and everything like that i got my xbox games like Half-Life 2, I got Conker's uh, Live and Reloaded. I found this for $2 at a pawn shop. Um, I almost didn't see it. Uh, I was grabbing a couple of other Xbox games and the person took out the CD booklet because they keep all the books and everything like that, or the CDs in the back. And so I was finally like grabbed by the Ghoulies. So you can see the tag here, $1.99. And I was, she was grabbing the disc and then I saw Conqueror's Live and Reloaded and I was like, wait, wait, wait. So I went back and I found it. It was actually by the other DVDs. Um, so I got Metal Slug 3. Um, let's see here. Beautiful Katamari. I like the Katamari games. Those are pretty fun. Uh, let's see here. I got... Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and I eventually found the Metroid Prime Trilogy, so I decided to just archive that one away. Then I got this game. This is um, Oni Chibara. Uh, it's a Bikini Samurai SWAT. It's exactly as you would think it is. It's uh, this hack and slash uh, with bikinis and stuff. It's really weird. Uh, it was only like 10 bucks, so I was like, what the hell, why not? Uh, and then I got these little World of Nintendo Jack specific games, or they're not games, they're little game figures. Um, I got them specifically because of this. Uh, I got these little, they're 8-bit classics. They're actually a little bit thin, but these are Walgreens exclusives, so I had to make sure I got that one. Here's another Game Boy Advance. Here's a couple of PlayStation Move controllers that I picked up before... The PlayStation VR came out. Um, GameStop actually raised the price of the PlayStation Move controllers to about $30 now. So they're kind of expensive, which I think is kind of, you know, cruel of GameStop to increase the prices. And here we got my Game Boy Advance SPs, uh, AGS 101s. As you can see, they're uh, not in very... A good condition anymore uh, they do work however uh, they do not are not made of nintendonium or whatever it's called that uh, makes nintendo uh, things super indestructible uh, same thing with this one it looks okay 
but as you can see I just snapped off the the thing and so it, it needs a new spring but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plop them into the Game Boy Advance because I do enjoy the form factor a hell of a lot better than the Game Boy Advance SP but that's just me um, but it's a shame that like they had just broken off and just really brittle so that's a shame and of course I got a Game Boy printer uh, it's complete in the box and it actually comes with like four or five extra rolls of that thermal paper so that's a pretty neat little thing to have as well again like some most of the obscure stuff that I pick up um, I don't really like to spend a lot of money on it because I don't have the time to play with that everything so it's just cool to have like kind of like a museum quality uh, appeal to my collection so and of course in here we got uh, some of those action cards um, some of the uh, leftover NES games this one here this one's Vega Vox now this is actually an album uh, somebody wrote um, the things here and it looks like it's one out of 80 I guess I don't know but it's these are really actually hard to come by now so if you ever come across one for really cheap, I suggest that you pick it up. It's really cool. Um, I got Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, OG Game Boy, a Play It Loud Game Boy. I really like the whole clear thing. Uh, that's really 90s, and I'm actually in the process of looking for a Game Boy Pocket with the same uh, layout. Here's another OG Game Boy. And then I got this little Luigi coin that on the back here it says Year of Luigi and it's like painted. And so the Year of Luigi coins, these were E3, I believe, exclusive. Or if you were lucky enough to be in line on a Best Buy like Play, you could probably get one of those. But um, I found this one on eBay at the time i think i only paid like 20 bucks for it and now they they tend to fluctuate in price depending on how popular they are so just right after e3 a lot of that stuff's really expensive but if you just wait um it tends to go down in price i got crash bandicoot warped let's see here i know i should probably put that in the case uh guitar hero on touring decades so this one requires a DS Lite or an original DS because it plugs into the thing and it's got like a guitar pick stylus and stuff so you can play that. I thought it was really cool. It was only like five bucks at GameStop on clearance so I decided to pick that up. Uh, Crush 3D. I don't really know why I got this. I think because oh I wanted a different case and so this game was really cheap. Uh, this is a import version of Trauma Center. And I bought this specifically because it was a surgery simulator. And I bought it not knowing that it's heavily text-based. And I don't know Japanese. So uh, luckily they came out with a U.S. version. And this is Lego Battles. This came with a game called um, Lego Minotaurus. And it's like a board game that you can customize and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Um, here's where I keep all of my manuals for the NES. I see I got a number of them here. And so I like to keep them relatively safe. Uh, I don't collect complete in box and cardboard games like, you know, anything that's like for a cartridge game because the cardboard box just gets destroyed and the extra money just isn't worth it to me. But I will collect the manuals, and because the manuals at least mean something to me. All right, so we got Mortal Kombat, the uh, the album. This is from the um, actual, I believe, the movie, and it also had like um, some of the in-game music. And you got another Katamari game, Lightning Returns, which is sealed, Pikmin Three, which is sealed. Um, so. 
I got this in a rush because they um, had stopped printing these. And so I found this at a Target like randomly. I'll probably get rid of that one because I did find an unopened one for 20 bucks. Uh, Max Payne 2, the fall of Max Payne. I found this at the Goodwill for like, there were five copies and they were only a dollar a piece. So I bought them all because they were sealed and I only have one left. I decided to keep one left. And then underneath here, I got some more manuals. Um, he got Nintendo 64 and then Super Nintendo. So just random things. I have like my original Turtles in Time manual, but I don't have Turtles in Time. Same thing with Joe and Mac. Like those are one of the two games that just got lost. I, I don't know what happened to them, which is a shame. All right, and so this is a bigger box um, that I keep some of the bigger stuff in here. Uh, I have an original, well, this is kind of like a painting that I did in um, grade school because I really like Foxtrot. Um, in here, so what I've been doing is I, I've been on a collecting uh, ad kick uh, because ads are kind of inexpensive and they are neat to collect and plus since they're eight by ten they're really easy to frame so this one is for quirk um if you haven't played that game it's it's actually a really fun puzzle game for the original game boy and it's fairly inexpensive because it's just unknown all right so we got these uh vans off the wall pins uh the pin set i think it came with the purchase of any two vans items so I decided to get those. Uh, I got a couple of Amiibos. Um, I got Sonic and Yarn Yoshi, which got kind of crunched. Oh, well, I'm not really too big into on the card stuff. I'll probably open them again once I get enough things here. I got, uh, again, these Jack specific toys are pretty cool because they're inexpensive if you can find them right away. Uh, and they look cool. So this one is Metroid Phazon suit. And then I have another Metroid, which is just Samus. Um, and I got a my Sphero box. This BB-8 thing. So I, I spent 150 bucks on it. It was pretty neat, and you just didn't get any use out of it later. So which is kind of disappointing. So, um, just a couple of other things that I've run across. Um, I have Spore Collector's Edition, which I came in, um, I found it at Goodwill for $1.99. I picked it up because, I mean, check out that box. That is, it's a plastic box and it's all molded and everything like that. It's pretty neat. I actually tried to give this away on Reddit because one of the older ladies really likes Spore, but she turned it down. But well, that's okay. Uh, Hot Wheels. I also collect Hot Wheels. I'm a huge Dodge Viper fan. Uh, one day I hope to own one, but until now I got a whole bunch of Hot Wheel cars for them. This is the Sega Nomad. The Sega Nomad is like the Game Gear, only it plays full-fledged uh, Sega games, but it sucks a ton of batteries, And but you can plug in a DC port. And then also plug it into your TV and just play it that way. That's pretty neat. Okay, what else do we got here? We got um, Mario Kart Wii with the steering wheel. Again, it's not something that I went out of my way to collect, but this is the first uh, time that I actually bought it. So it came with the wheel instead of just loose. Uh, let's see here. I got a Famicom Dr. Mario game. Again, like I just found this laying around and at a thrift store and just decided to pick it up because it's just a Japanese game. Now these are um, electronic Mattel games. I thought that these were original and they are not. These are reproductions which I was really disappointed because I mean it's only 99 cents but I thought that I had found like some really old ones so I snatched them up but they're made in 2007. Still pretty cool though. Uh, here's another CMS. Uh, this one is a gravity suit. One day I'll just display them all together. Cat 5 cable. Then I got a Funko Land um, CD case. It's got um, room for some PlayStation games. And I actually might uh, put that 
Crash Bandicoot thing away. Uh, Trauma Center New Blood. This came in a non Wii case, so that's kind of just been banished. Uh, Exploding Kittens. It's a really neat card game. Uh, this is really nice. I bought this from the game store that I worked at, and he sold it to me because it was it wasn't working. And um, it's a Turbo Express. So basically, what this is again, this is a handheld Turbo Graphics 16 uh, that plays Turbo Graphics games. Uh, you can get a TV tuner with it. TV tuner wouldn't work, but uh, one of the guys that I worked with, he helped recap it. So now it does work. Unfortunately, I just don't have any sound, which is kind of a bummer. All right, got some Star Wars toys again. And then I got this thing, which is an iCade. Now the iCade is, it was a ThinkGeek thing here. And what it did was, um, it's a Bluetooth arcade stick. And you put your iPad in there and it connects via Bluetooth and you just play it like you would a regular arcade, only it's a first person thing. So it's got really high quality sticks and I think I only paid like five bucks for it at Goodwill. So I couldn't pass it up. All right. So that is garbage apparently. Um, so then I got Bioshock 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, the Bioshock 2, um, this, this box was actually pretty neat, and so I don't know if you guys remember, but Bioshock 2 didn't sell very well. And this was about $100, and GameStop actually marked it down all the way down to 30 like super quick. So, um, which is a shame for um, 2K games, but good for me because, I mean, it's a really cool box. Um, and then it's got this uh, sweet butterfly thing with all the little palm prints. And then this thing is pretty cool. This came out of Edge Magazine in 2011. This is a 2011 calendar, but that's not really the reason why I bought it. The reason why I bought it was because of the Mario's and it's 25 years of Mario. So it goes all the way from the original uh, Donkey Kong Jumpman all the way through to uh, Mario Galaxy 2. So it's pretty neat to have. Um, again, like I'll try to frame it, but for now, it, it'll just remain with Bioshock and safekeeping. Alrighty, so let's move on to the next box here. I got the... Uh, Red Steel, Castle of Shigimi, uh, Halo 3, and Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, this is the GameStop edition, which really ticked me off as a collector because there's different editions, and I, I really just don't like how it, it says that on there. Uh, I'm glad that they don't really do that anymore. Uh, Halo 3, Gears of War Judgment. Uh, and then here's some of my other uh, PlayStation 2 games here. I got uh, Star Wars Battlefront, Taito Legends, uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. Um, I couldn't pass that up for $1.99 as well. Um, so, and then this is the one reason why I bought Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I got it specifically because of that cool revolutionary flag and then like on the back of the steel book. It was pretty neat and then I played it and I was like, wait a minute, I don't like Assassin's Creed. So I'll never do that again until the next time. Uh, here's some of my rest of my Genesis games. Um, Madden 95, one of the best Maddens that I played. FIFA International Soccer, this is the first one. Uh, I enjoyed the heck out of this game um it's it's just one of those games that i'll play again and again but road rash it, it let's see here barkley shut jam tasmania the rest of my sega cd games uh echo to dolphin again fifa and uh this is cowboy or san francisco versus niners now this game 
is really neat because it doesn't it's not actually a football game it's it's like a flash game so you pick the different plays to work and then it'll play a clip it's pretty unique uh, and then i got a another video game soundtrack that i got as a nintendo reward and then uh, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver for the Dreamcast. Uh, that game runs really, really well on the Dreamcast. Uh, so I highly recommend that you get that one instead. But that is it for that box. And of course I have uh, the Elder Scrolls Anthology. And then the Grand Theft Auto 4 Special Edition. Uh, the game wasn't that great. But this is pretty cool because it's a uh, safety deposit box that's steel and everything like that. It comes with a, a lock and everything like that. So I just had to pick that one up. So that's it for uh, the top here in the closet. Let's go down into the basement.